Hello, welcome to Cox & Co Brewing. I'm Leighton and this is... Mrs Cox. Or as I like to call her, Rhea. Hey. Hiya. Mr and Mrs Cox, that's where the name came from. Simple. Why are we here? Because we like beer and we're going to have a crack at making our own. Yeah, so we have bought tons of equipment currently in lockdown in the UK and we just want to make our own beer because we bloody loves it. Cheers. Cheers. We're IPA drinkers, if it was going to be clarified. Yeah. I mm. don't like sours, and I don't like stouts. No. No. Pretty much the same for me. I like a New England IPA. Probably what would be the first beer I would like to make as well. So, let's have a look at the core of the system. Oh, bring it out. That was way too heavy. Oh, can you carry it? Yeah. So, can we see that? It is the Grain Father all in one brewing system. I'm going to have to do this on the floor. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Hang on, right. Should we do it here? There you go. That is heavy, isn't it? Mm hmm. <laughs> Nervous like putting a knife into things in case I like actually. Feels like Christmas. Scrape the stainless yeah. steel. This is Christmas, and it's going to be Christmas-like every two weeks. Oh, it's a box within a box. Okay, let's get this thing open. So, this is the lid for the Grainfather. Uh, it's come with a Mangrove Jack uh, Craft Series Dried Yeast Guide, I think. And the Grainfather instructions. Well, it tells you everything you need to know about beer and yeast. What different yeasts go with different beers? Because this is where it gets complicated and... Um, oh wow, that's great. What is this? So, it's a style guide. Let's have a look at that. Bang! Can you see that there? Um, so, whatever beer style you like, Mangrove Jack. Mangrove Jacks makes um, yeast and like some different types of equipment. So whatever style we're going for, they have a suitable yeast right. for it. So for instance, let's just go English IPA. So we go across, one that's going to work really well with that is M42 New World Strong Ale. Bang. There you go. Anyway, that's a side note. This next. Oh, this is the handle. <laughs> now it's the big one. So this is how it's come packaged. Go on, buy yourself. <laughs> quite tricky. I think there's quite a lot of bits to it, to be honest. Um, yeah, put that there. Right, here we go. Sweet. Okay, what do we do with all this cardboard? Add it to our cardboard pile. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we can get rid of that. Um, <laughs> it's pretty tight in here, and also, as we're currently in lockdown in the UK, the um... I think I could live in this. Yeah, it's a big box. The skips are all closed. Oh, wow. Mm. Okay, right, let's start taking bits out. Okay. Oh, that's the control box. Filters. So this is the latest model of the Grainfather as of 2020. May, where are we? May, May 2020? Yeah, May. Shall I just put it down on the floor? Okay, and inside here, we have the counterflow chiller. So if you could knife that. Okay, all right, there's our counterflow chiller. There we go. So, and then uh, this will be installed in this. Oh, that's your handle for that. Perfect. Perfect. I don't know if it's best to like set this up now. Let's see all the little bits inside. Grandfather Connect control box instructions.
mobile app. Oh, that's cool. It's great. I can have it in the garage, boiling away, doing the cooking for me, and then, ding, tells me when it's done. Ah, yeah. Looks cool, that. Yeah, so, well, this is like a Bluetooth control box. Should we just, um... This one? Yeah, it's getting a bit full in here, isn't it? <laughs> and this is just like <laughs> the start of it. I've got about four or five more boxes to, to open. Don't know if we'll get through it all in one go. Right, so what we're gonna do now, we're gonna put this all together. It's probably gonna take 20, 30 minutes from what I've seen of other people doing it. And uh, we'll see it fully built. longer than expected. But that's because we went through the instructions very carefully. Very carefully. And we've assembled it. It is a cool looking piece of kit and we are very excited to use it. There are many bits and bobs and lots of things that feel like they could go missing easily. Oh, where's the uh, handle? I thought you were doing that for effect then. She said things were good. No, no, I was genuinely. Oh. So, essentially, it's sort of like a three part system. This is the sort of kettle, this is where we keep our mash and that's the counterflow chiller. What's mash? So mash is your mixture of like three, four, five different malts to add different textures and flavors and, and all sorts. But that is something for another video, I think. I have bought malts and I've bought a load of hops and they're taking up a lot of uh, room in the fridge. Yeah, I'm very excited to get to, to use it all. Mm -hmm. I think you are too, maybe? Yeah. Well, I'm excited to drink the beer. When it comes to cooking, this is similar, but I like to follow things... To the recipe. To the recipe. So if it says three ounces of butter, it's going to be three ounces. If it's a tablespoon of cinnamon, it's going to be a tablespoon of cinnamon. Whereas I think you're a bit... I like to be creative with my cooking. Creative. I make my own recipes and my own rules. Okay. So maybe... So I'll just put a little stem of stem in there. <laughs> yeah. And I'll dash it as so certain. We are going to be doing... Well, first off, there is loads more kit, but it is now really late and we didn't really think it was going to take that long to put this together. So um, maybe I'll open the rest of the kit. I've got a fermenter and I've got quite a few of the accessories which are un underneath this table. Uh, all the things that you just need to make sure you don't run into any problems. You know, you gotta have all the right gear. Like I bought gr brewing gloves the other day. I'm actually excited to put on the gr brewing gloves. They'll they're, come... like, they're bigger than me, they're like they're, up here. They'll come up to your shoulder. I wonder if they're, they've gotta just be, get them out. I feel horrible. Oh yeah. Sexy. Yeah, they do come up to you. Looks like I'm <laughs> about to pull a calf out of a cow's bum. <laughs> well, so the reason why they're, they're, they're this, um, this large... They're not as long as I expected, actually. ...is that when we're pouring our grains in the top, we've got to be stirring the grains, but that's going to be, like, boiling. So, you know, if you had your marigolds on, it might protect you up to there. But, you know, when, you, when you've got your whole arm action in, Oh, I feel horrible. <laughs> they also look a bit weird and curvy. Well, I completely the end of this video. Uh, why are we doing this anyway? Do we love beer? Yeah, we love beer. We love beer. 
We like to go to all the craft exhibitions. I want to stay here, drink all your beer, please don't take you. Good weekends away to drink beer. So it's night time now. We've spent a whole day in Rome in the pub. Now we're going to try and find a craft ale bar, like just to just to get really cultured. And we love drinking beer with our friends. Now shut up and drink your beer. So we're a little late getting out today, and we're drinking coffee because we might have had a big one last night. Mayo. We found Welsh people. Ultimate dream is to go to a beer festival with our own beer. Yeah. But we'll see. Big goals. Okay, Cox and Co. Brewing, coming to you soon. <laughs>